Hello and good morning. <laughs> this is Liquid Love. This is a spiritual channel. This is a spiritual channel. I try, I try not to talk politics, not to talk government and anything, but I have made videos in the past. I was talking about the system. I was talking about the Bronx Supreme Courthouse, the Bronx County Clerk's Office. I talk about the unified court system because that's all, that's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. And I was a part of it for a very long time. And I left the government. I resigned from that position because of the way I was treated. And, and it's just so bad because you can go and you can follow the chain of command because that's what you're supposed to do. That's what they tell you to do. Oh, you can't go over everyone's head and you did not follow the chain of command first. I followed the chain of command. They don't, they don't help you because they're all connected. It's like a mob. It's like a fucking mob of people of crim and then they're old they're fucking old I'm, I'm old I'm, I'm, an, I'm an adult I'm 44 but they're old they're like senior citizens and like they should be getting a check but they still want to work and it's like you know they have these positions in power because they don't want to let the new people in new people new faces mm -hmm. and they're not they're not on the same time that they're on that's why in government they try to hire their their family. They want their own family in the politics so that they could stay connected within politics. Criminals. This is criminals. Wherever <clears throat> there is criminal activity, there is black magic in place. Black magic is in place so that you don't see. You won't see it because there's black magic there. You don't believe in black magic. You think black magic is a, is not real. You know, that's why it works on you because you're ignorant to what black magic is, you know, and that's why it works. You know, people in power, rich people in power, that's how they keep their power. You know, they abuse their power and they make others not see what's going on. So they'll never be investigated. They'll never, nothing is ever going to get done. Nothing is ever going to get done. Nothing's ever going to be rectified. There won't be no solution. There won't be no resolution. Like no one's going to know and everything is kept in secret. And it's just like, oh my God. Like it's so much criminal activity within the courthouse. And no one knows. No one checks it. No one looks into it. No one does anything. Why? because there's black magic it plays and you're not gonna see it you're not gonna see it and that's why they don't see it that's why they don't look into it they hide documents so that no one can see the document no one knows the complaints no one knows the reports no one knows anything that has been filed because they hide it it's criminals within the justice system and that's why the justice system is so corrupt because they have these old people in places of power and they don't need to be there they do not need to be there you know how many people that are qualified to hold a position of power and then they're not given the position because they they're not connected or they don't know someone and it's just so crazy like the way that the government is or the way the system is because when i grew up it's like oh you go to school you you work you get a good job you do what you gotta do like you were taught like this is how it's supposed to be oh you make a complaint if something's not right you make a complaint you go to follow the chain of command they're gonna help you that's their job but the system the government is so damaged like the people that are placed to help you don't help you they don't help you and they hide they hide the documents, they hide the complaints, so no one else sees it, no one else knows what has been filed against them, what has been filed against the courthouse, what complaints have been filed against the courthouse. It has been people terminated from the courthouse. They lost, like, maybe they had information, you know? They knew information, and they didn't want that information to get out. The person was, terminated and they lost all of their 
pension, everything. They lost everything because of the people in power didn't want that person to talk, you know? It's just crazy the way the government controls the people. You know, all these unclaimed funds, unclaimed properties, no one claims it. You have every right to claim the property, but you don't claim the property. So the people in the courthouse will take it and they will forge and falsify signatures so that they can have the property and they can have, you know, they can have things that they're not supposed to have. They'll have it because the people in the Bronx community, this is a Latin community, they're Spanish. A lot of people here are Spanish, are Hispanic, and we don't know they don't know you know and then you think that the people in government are going to help them and they're not going to help them they think that the community is is the lowest of the low because they're spanish or they don't speak english or you know like they don't know you know they don't know politics and they don't know the rules and they'll never know you know that's the mentality of the places of the people in government that's how they think you know all these attacks I've been dealing with government for a while now and I get attacked by the government but then I deal with these these friends and then it's like these friends it's like, it just makes me think are they connected to the people in government like why would they even come for me like this but it's like you know it's a distraction it's to distract me from the politics like whatever happened it's like to take me away from what I'm supposed to be doing and it's like, you know, and it's all, it's like they're all connected. It's all like a secret society, a secret group. Where they all fucking know each other. And it's just like, oh my God. And then it's like, whoever you talk to, like, you don't even know who's connected. You don't know who is who. It's like nobody can be trusted. It's like you just can't trust anyone. And then it's like, I could want to talk about it to... No, I don't have no friends. It's like I could want to talk about it, but it's like I can't even talk about it with a person or anyone or, or even the kids. I can't talk about it because then it's just so, it's so much. It's just so much that goes into it. Like these people do so much shit, and it's just like, oh my god, oh my god. Like I can't believe, like these people did all this stuff. They got away with all this stuff. For all these years and this is just from when i started they've been doing this shit from even before i got there they've been doing this shit and then i'm the only one complaining i'm the only one doing stuff i'm the only one trying to bring attention to the situation but i'm the only one doing it you know they're gonna hide it they're gonna blackball me they're gonna retaliate against me because i'm the only one trying to bring light to bring attention to a problem that no one wants to fix no one wants to correct no one wants to reprimand these people they, but they want to keep them in places of power so they continue so they can continue wrecking havoc on everyone on all these innocent people and it's just like oh my god you know, and I had to learn to cleanse myself, to cleanse myself from this energy, protect myself from this energy. I used to wear the talisman, the talisman. I would wear that all the time, but then I, I tattooed it because I was like, <clears throat> I wanted to wear a necklace. So I, I, but I always wore the talisman and then it's like, I felt like I needed the talisman. I was like, I'm going to just tattoo it on so that I don't have to wear it anymore and I can wear it a necklace you know the splash the return of senders i would do the glass and case candles but i you know figured i can do return of senders as tea lights because when i do them as tea lights they go faster they burn faster they go through faster i never do anything to anyone because I know the consequences, it's always going to come back, it's going to affect your children, it's going to destroy your life, it's going to mess up everything, and it's like, I don't want anything to happen to me, so I would never do anything to anyone, but these people will always come for me, they will always come for me, and I will always clean my energy, you know, and there was a time my insides were like this, my insides, like this was like this all the time, I didn't know why. 
that didn't go away until I left the courthouse. When I left the courthouse, my body ailments, all of that went away. I would go to the doctors for everything. I, I didn't know what was wrong with me. I'm like, what is wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with with you, ma'am. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you, ma'am. You're in perfect health. You're just fat. That's what, that's what they're saying. You're a little obese, but you're okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You're, you're lucky to be healthy. Like, you're healthy. Your health is fine. There's nothing wrong with you. We checked everything. They ran all the blood tests. They ran everything. There's nothing wrong. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Once I left the courthouse, all of my body ailments went away. The people do and play in black magic. That's that's just what it is. But how can you prove that? How can you say that and then them not look at you like, oh, you know, they're gonna look at you and then they say that you're the one doing the magic. And then it's like, it's them doing the work. And then I cleanse myself all the time. I just cleanse myself. I remove the energy. I do the return of senders as tea lights. When I do the return of senders, it returns the energy back. That's all it does. It just returns the energy back to whoever put it out there. Nothing is going to ever happen to me because I don't do negative work. But the people that do the negative work, they're the ones going through all the turmoil. They're the ones going through all the difficulties. They're the ones that's having all the problems. They're the ones that have people dying in their family because they're the ones doing the death spells. And it's just, you know, but you can't prove it. You can't prove it. You can't prove magic. All you could do is protect yourself, cleanse yourself. And then when you see these people going through all their shit, all this stuff is happening to them, you know why it's happening to them you know exactly why it's happening to them because of all the stuff that they put out they're trying to kill you they're trying to do all this stuff they want you to shut up they don't want you to talk you know and it's like i've been in the system for a long time but no one knows who is paulina garcia who is this why is she talking like this it's because they kept me hidden and they didn't want anyone to know who I was. And it's like, and I was there since 2006. No one knows who I am. It's like, okay. And it's, and it's fine. And it's fine, you know. I resigned from that position and I moved forward. I openly would love the nonprofit organization. It is for love. You know, I want people to do things with love. Like all these people, they come after me and they do all this stuff to me. And it's like, I don't, I don't hate them. You know, I love everyone. You know, I just wish they were a different type of person. You know, I wish they would heal themselves and just be a better human being. It's like people don't have to be this way. You don't have to be this way. But they choose to be this way because they're rich or they want power and they don't want anyone else to come in and take that power away. And that's why they do the things that they do. And it's all black magic. It's all black magic. But how can you prove that? You can't prove that. So then you have to talk about the professionalism and what they're not doing. Oh, the hiding of confidential information, the disclosure of confidential documents or putting a person in jeopardy or jeopardizing their life, putting them in uncompromising situations. It's like all of that is illegal. And then you work for the government and then you, you're doing all these crimes and then no one says anything, no one does anything, no one looks into anything. It's just like, oh my God. Like, and then I have these little petty thieves, petty thieves coming after me. Like, you don't even know, like, what the hell I'm doing in real life. Like, they don't even know, but they want to come for me, too. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, I have people in government coming for me. And then I have these little petty thieves coming for me, too. And it's just like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, you fucking scrubs. <laughs> you low lives. You piece of shits. Like, oh, my God. But you know what? It's all right. I cleanse my energy, I cleanse my space, I move forward, I don't, I'm not angry, 
I refuse to be angry. I refuse to be upset. I refuse to be mad. I refuse to be any of those kind of emotions that are low vibrational because things are bigger than me. I may be trying to bring attention to it. You know, I'm bringing attention to it. But people don't. They don't pay mind to it. I did all everything. The chain of command. It's all documented. It's all where it's supposed to be. But they hide it. So now I don't have a choice. But to go to social media. And tag the media. Tag the Bronx Times. The New York Law Journal. I have to tag them on a post. About the crimes about the injustices within the Bronx Supreme Courthouse. I got to tag them on the case number and the index number just to bring attention to the issue because the emails are hidden. They don't bring attention to the emails. They don't read the emails. They don't check it or they don't do their job. Like these people don't do their job and they get and paid all this money to not do their job and it's just like oh my god i can't believe how many people don't do their fucking job they're old there are old old people old you're fucking old like you know what your job is and then you don't do it you don't do it and you don't do it on purpose because you don't want to bring attention to to things you don't want to shed light to things and it's just like oh my god like how can you bring attention to a problem? You go do the chain of command and they hide the documents so that no one knows what's being done. All of the criminal activity is like you recorded it, it's dates and times of everything. You bring it to people's attention and then they hide it. And it's like, yo, you're supposed to, you're supposed to do something about this. Like this is a real issue and no one does anything about it. What does that show you? Is that they're a part of the problem. They're a part of the crimes. It's, they're all connected. <laughs> they're all connected to the criminals in committing the crimes, you know? It's crazy. It, it's crazy. It's politics. It's politics. Politics is dirty. These people wear suits and they wear ties and they want to speak all etiquette, you know? They want to speak all prim and proper like they know they know so much and they're fucking evil crooked and cruel people what i'm doing here is i'm writing return to sender return to sender on the candles once you carve in it return to sender that is what makes a tea light a return to sender that makes it a tea light is a regular tea light you can get any colored tea light what makes it a return ascender is you carving those three words in there return ascender once that is carved in the candle that is what makes it a return ascender i have been fighting for justice for a long time i have been going through this for a long time this is not new <laughs> this is not new i have these little petty thieves coming for me now I have these little, little, little crooks, little, little people, these little people coming for me now, but it's like things are bigger than what, what they think it is. Like you, you don't know me, <laughs> you don't know, you didn't even try to get to know me and it's, you know what, it's fine, <clears throat> it's fine. I have no friends <laughs> and it's fine. So it's like the black salt. I make the black salt. The black salt is on my TikTok shop. The black salt, it repels, it burns, it vanishes, it diminishes, it demolishes, it destroys, it kills. It kills all negative energies. Black, black salt is all natural product, is all natural ingredients. The ingredients are on the label and I also in a listing of the black salt and I tell you the uses of each ingredient like what it's for what's the purpose of me putting it in there but the black salt is a very powerful spiritual item I charged it I made it with the solar eclipse the solar eclipse is an event that happens once every 20 years so it's not going to happen again until the year 2044 so we're in 2024 now 
so I only have but well, I made enough I made enough for now but it's a very powerful spiritual item to help you repel all of the negative energies I have it on my windowsill it's on every opening in the house it's on the front door it's everywhere that there is an opening yeah there's black salt there like <laughs> no evil can come here these people can do whatever they want to do like it's not gonna work it will never work never it's never gonna work but they try i have black salt and i have the spiritual splash on my tiktok shop so just tap on the link and you'll get more information through the tiktok shop and i do mail it out with the listing the splash this is the splash the, sp the spiritual splash i have to get put more in my bottle the spiritual splash just a spiritual splash i do mail it out with the listing of ingredients of ingredients of what's in here because it's herbs it's holy water it's florida water it's it's like everything to repel the negative energies it's the herbs the herbs that's in here is to repel the negative energies is to remove negative energies and i listed the herbs in there and then i listed what are the spiritual properties of that herb you know and i also have other herbs in there to help enhance with your spirituality or your third eye your intuition it's like just for you to be aware <clears throat> i'm in new york city i am so sorry about the noise but <clears throat> let's see here should i pause it let me pause it it went away but it's still <laughs> it's still faint like you can still hear it but i'm gonna just go so the return of senders is just carving in it return of sender you don't need black salt but if you do decide to get the black salt the black salt is going to help you it's going to repel the negative energies away it's going to destroy all evil there's no coming back from the return of sender there's no coming back from it they are not going to be able to come back from it they are not going to get up they're not going to how was that recover <laughs> they will not be able to recover from the return of sender that you did with the black salt no they won't be able to recover from that but let's go so as you light each one you have to give it the command of what do you want your candles to do you want your candle to be a return of sender so it is return to sender return to sender return to sender and return to sender return all this energy back to whomever put it out there no names go on here because i don't know who's doing what it's energy whatever energy they put out it's, you, you can send it back like they can keep that energy like you better keep that same energy because it's coming back it's gonna come back that's all a return of sender does. It removes the energy from yourself and it sends it to whoever put it out there. You know, God is real. God is real. And it's like, I love God. And it's like, how? I don't understand like why these people do the things they do. And it's like, God covers me. God protects me. God watches over me. God loves me. You know, I can light my candle and I could say, please, like, God, like, just remove this energy from me. Like, I want to move forward in my life and I'm tired of this. Like, I'm just, I'm just tired of the attacks, but the attacks are always gonna, I'm always attacked. You know, I know who I am and these people always are gonna attack. And then it's like, I just have to protect myself, protect my energy. You know, I just have to protect myself and I gotta keep moving forward. It's like you just can't stay stuck. You cannot stay defeated because somebody's doing stuff. You feel somebody's doing stuff and then you don't wanna do anything about it. Like you don't you don't care, like you don't wanna do anything. Like you can do a return of sender. You can get a splash. You can remove the energy, it's gonna clear your aura, clear your space, burn incense, sage, clear your space. You know, take a spiritual bath, you know, that's cleansing yourself and your body. 
you know, you take a bath and you wash all the dirt away. Then just sit in the tub and soak in a spiritual bath. It's going to help you. The longer you sit in there, it's going to help you. And it's going to remove the energies from you. It's going to cleanse you. It's like purifying you. You can use salt. Epsom salt. You can use eggshells. I grind up the eggshells. And I throw them in the bath water. It's in it. And you're just sitting there. It's just to put you in a protective bubble. It's to protect you. That's all it's for. You can use whatever you want. Whatever herbs that you want. Because lavender, cinnamon, like all, all these things. Like once you know the uses of the herbs, the spiritual uses of the herbs, they can help you. That's why nature, you know, God made nature to help us. From people that want to sit here and play in black magic and this has been going on for years for centuries for a very long time people have been playing in magic you know they had the trials the Salem witches trials they died they didn't care about them they didn't care about their children they just wanted to be rid of them because they were doing stuff they were manipulating people in the minds and forcing people to do things that they didn't want to do which is they stole things from people they did so much harm than good and it's the same thing like the government institutions they're supposed to help people and they don't help people it's like i don't know what they do <laughs> i don't know what they do but i know they don't help you they don't help you and nobody looks into it. Nobody looks into how all this stuff is happening, how all this stuff has been happening for all of these years, and nobody does anything. It's because black magic is in place so that you don't see it, so you ignore it, so you don't look into it, so that you don't pay attention to the problem. Because there is a problem, but it's, it's kept hidden by criminals in high places, people in power with high positions that, you know, they have to pay them hundreds of thousands of dollars as a salary just to be there and they don't do their job. They do criminal activities, fraud, they do all this shit. But because they're old, they're senior citizens and, and they've been there for so long and you know people know them they think that they're going to do what they're supposed to do no <laughs> they're going to take advantage of the fact that you think that they're not going to do anything wrong and they're going to do everything wrong but that's just how it goes wherever there is black magic there is criminal activity whenever there's things going on and no one knows no one knows there's black magic in place that's why nobody knows that's why nobody checks that's why nobody does their job it's because black magic is in place so that no one checks and no one does their job but whatever you know they want to say whatever they say i don't even care you know and i was going for I know, i'm rambling right I was going for this position and it's like I don't even want this position it's like I'd rather have justice I'd rather have justice to be served I'd rather things to be rectified I'd rather everyone to know what is going on I'd rather the truth be out than to have a position and have all these people coming for me because I'm in this position it's like oh my god like why would I want to put myself in more problems it's like I'd rather just have justice justice to be served and for people to do their fucking job do your job that's all you got to do is do your job you get paid all this money to do a job that you failed to do and you need to be fired you need to be terminated you need to be removed from the fucking premises and never allowed to come back in there never allowed or like to remove all the other family members that are in there it's like it's just, it's a whole it's a whole system it's a whole corrupt system and nobody looks into it fucking crazy because <laughs> black magic is in place return of sunders re removes the energy from yourself 
and it just sends it back to whoever put it there then it's like cover and protect the people that I love people that love me and care about me and don't want anything to happen to me like protect those people too you know because they don't want anything to happen to me protect them cover them don't let anything happen to these people people that I love and care about and they care about me stay positive stay positive vibe high and always leave with love it's like don't hate nobody don't hate anyone I don't hate anyone it's, I'm just tired I'm just so tired of the same of the same hot mess and no one does anything to fix it it's just like oh my god like what what has to be done I don't know and if I was to get the job I'm gonna have to like wear more clothes and cover up because <laughs> I can't dress the way I dress on camera I'm gonna have to look presentable is that the, yeah presentable but I'm not in a political place so I don't have to dress I could dress any way I want to dress I'm home you know but if things change, if things were to ever change, I would have to change everything about myself so I can look the part. Because I know I don't look the part. Blue hair. And I don't I don't wear a lot of clothes. I don't it's summer and I don't wear a lot of clothes in the summer, so this is just it is what it is. And it's not presentable in politics you know i'm supposed to look basic and look like everyone else and then it's like i could see everything and no one else sees it but me and it's like i'm the i'm the oddball i'm the weird one and it's like oh my god <laughs> stay positive stay positive vibe high i know i was chatting <laughs> i was chatting in this video but have a good day happy saturday and stay blessed, stay positive, and leave with love. Don't hate anyone. <laughs> Don't hate anyone. And leave with love. Bye.